You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper here. Welcome to another video. Today's the first episode of a new series I want to do called Talking Horror With. This time, uh, it's a special guest over from Instagram, the Instagram horror community, uh, Horrorhead X. Uh, Allison, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're so welcome. So, I wanted to know, how did you come up with um, the channel name, Horrorhead X? I generally, I just kind of thought, I was like, what do I like? I was like, horror. And then, you know, when you're like a... When you're like really crazy about something, you're you're crazy about it in your head. And I was like, I'll just do that. And then horror head was taken, so I just did an X. <laughs> <laughs> just like Jason but X. But there's like five people with the name horror head now, so it's fine. <laughs> well, I only know yours, so I guess you're doing most successful of all of them. <laughs> I'm flooding Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like metalhead, but it's yeah, wow, yeah, I never, exactly. I never metalhead thought of that. You explained it in five that. seconds. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Same thing, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You know, usually when I when I think of like head as a, in a fan, I think of like metal head, the slasher head maybe, but like horror yeah. head is not really something people use to describe us. So that's pretty funny. That's awesome. I just wanted something that was easy to say. <laughs> right, you know. It's something that's catchy, you know. That's that's yeah. why I'm slasher pepper, you know. That's not something you're I gonna know, like, forget. Like salt and pepper? Oh no, it isn't. That's <laughs> what I just say of. That's actually... Like salt and pepper, slasher pepper, like the two things you need wow, in life. Yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, for me it's 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 like I was trying to come up with a name and and there was this one guy. You might know him actually. Uh, he's on Instagram, Boogie Wolf, and um, or actually now he is not really active anymore. I think. Well, anyway, yeah, I didn't know that, that, that doesn't really matter, but it's, <laughs> he explained why he had that name. It was like, you know, two things I love. I love the boogeyman and I love werewolves. So boogie yeah, wolf. Uh, so I was like, <laughs> I love slasher films. I love Dr. Pepper. Slasher oh, Pepper. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> right. Yeah. Dr. Pepper's not very big in Australia. No, over here it isn't either. There's yeah. like Coca-Cola everywhere. Yeah. Just one tray of Dr. Yeah. Pepper in our grocery if you store. you find Dr. Pepper, it's super rare. You're like, oh. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we, have, um, we have just the original taste in the grocery stores. And then in like candy shops, we have Dr. Pepper cherry. But it's yeah. imported from America. So it's super overpriced. It's like three yeah, bucks. Like and I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So it's, it's like, well, I'll just stick with the 60 cent uh, original taste. True. So, Maybe you're uh, a little bit fancy, though. Dr. Pepper's fancy to me. So you're a little bit of a fancy account. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Appreciate it. High class. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's all right. What would you say? Uh, what would you say is your uh, favorite horror movie? That's like um, a question you probably get three times a day, <laughs> like yeah, everyone I get else. Yeah, um, I wore my favorite horror movie on me today. It's Chopping Mall. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Eighties killer robots. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when I um when I saw that that movie for the first time. I I was at the time I worked at a grocery store and um I was actually like in my head thinking about a film. You know, where there's like a killer in a grocery store. Yeah. And I thought, no one has done that yet. And then I read the title <laughs> Shopping Mall. And I was like, oh, that must be the movie that already did it. <laughs> Figured like, there were killer robots all of a sudden. It makes no sense that it's robots. But that's why I love it more. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah, I, it's been so long for me since I, uh, since I um, watched that film. But it, it, that one is great. What are some of your other favorites? Well, I was going to ask what your favorite is. <laughs> oh, well, that is brings me back to... I can see it. Oh, right. <laughs> no, that's my favorite from 2019. Although yeah. it's kind of out of my comfort zone because I say this all the time on my channel. I'm all about fun horror movies where yeah. people are just having fun and then being killed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and not not that in the first five minutes the parents have committed suicide, the sister too, and everyone is depressed. But in Midsommar, so that happens. 
But yet I love <laughs> I it for like, some I'm reason. I'm just gonna leave the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. It's a it's a great film, but I yeah I was crying a lot yeah. in five minutes. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my heart. <laughs> yeah, literally. No, that brings me back to like the grocery store concept. Um, because then I was like, okay, I'm I'm safe with the the slasher in a grocery store um story yeah. yet. Uh, but then I found out about Intruder, and I was like, yes. This is, like my movie, you know. It's so I was, good. There are kills in that. There are kills in that that I already had in my mind. Like I want to do that later, you know. And then I watched Intruder and was like, that was my concept. You beat me to it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should be the one who remakes Intruder because you could give it the love it deserves. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know actually, the little uh... niche of a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Be yeah, good. because Scott Spiegel, Scott Spiegel, the director worked in their grocery store too. So, hey, who knows, go. right? <laughs> Message who him. Knows? Find out where he is. Oh yeah, I'm. I've been trying to reach him like forever. <laughs> <laughs> you probably know I'm doing interviews too, but he's like one of the people I just can't get in touch with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a very like professional thing. You have to know people for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One time you were, you were talking to their managers and agents. The other time you shoot them a message on Instagram and they're like, sure. And they give you yes. their Skype and then you do it, you know? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm up there. I think I'm like down here, but <laughs> I'll take, <laughs> I'll take yeah, what I can and, get. <laughs> I was honored. I was like very flattered. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. And I, and I remember exciting. Danny Hicks. You know him, right? Uh, what's his Instagram name? He's not on Instagram. He's he's from Evil Dead too, so he's like an actor. Oh, I don't know any actors by name. I'm oh, terrible really? with names. Oh, I have know... like terrible memory, <laughs> but if I see their face, I'll be like, oh, he's right. in like this movie and this movie and this movie. Yeah, I know. I, I I have that too. It's yeah. all visual for me. <laughs> <laughs> not about paperwork or stuff like that with no. words and text. My brain and just like. It doesn't work anymore. It's just like this big mashed potato of horror. <laughs> and I just hope for the best. <laughs> Whatever gets me through the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but he's the, he plays the killer in Intruder. Oh, sick. Yeah, he, he... <laughs> yeah, he passed away this year, and I was actually in contact with him, so that kind of was kind of oh, odd, so you know. If you're just like talking with him, and you, you react at... Uh, most enthusiastically on my uh, message to do an interview, it was like honored that I asked him. Well, I was like, geez, I'm honored that you even reply to my message, you know? Yeah, so, <laughs> that you even read them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then he passed away, so that's really sad, you know? Because that he was like sad. postponing it all the time. He was like, you know, give just catch back in one week and yeah. I'll see if I feel better then. And then he got diagnosed with cancer and then like two weeks later he passed away. So that's... That sucked. That's Not so just for shitty. the interview, because he was a great well, actor. So that's so shitty for you. Yeah, you know, uh, exactly. But, um, I'm sorry. What, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, I'm sorry for you, too. You're a horror fan as well, so. <laughs> yes, but I didn't We're all know in it together. Yes. <laughs> well, not by name. No. <laughs> not by name. If I saw him, I'd be like, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's from it. Dark Man, Intruder. Like, uh, <laughs> <You know that? laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> so, your favorite horror franchise, what would that be? Friday the 13th. Always. Oh, agree. I love, agree. I love all of them except for Jason Goes to Hell. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. I love that just, one. I, I love all why. of them. I need to watch it again, but that's the only one that just, like, doesn't connect with me. But I love all of them apart from that. Even Jason Takes Manhattan, I love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, even for, like, the marketing for that film. Just, like, the posters yeah. and shit. So vintage, so 80s, you know. It's that's so, really awesome. Jason just, well, he'll, like, stand the test of time, I reckon. He's just an yeah. incredible. And if, like, I, if I ever encountered him, you just don't know what to do. <laughs> There's no game plan. You just have to kind of run and hope for the best. Right. <laughs> so that's what I love about him. What's your favorite one? Oh, my favorite franchise is Friday the 13th as well. I definitely agree with you on that one. Um, <laughs> I would say 
Jason Lives. Um, oh, yeah. That one is definitely my favorite. So Although I, I also really like, um, well, not it's not one of my favorites, but I do really like Jason Goes to Hell for even though it's it's like really different and bizarre, but I love I it for that. I to you know? try it again. If you say it's good, I'm just going to try it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that movie, I've heard so many people talk about it and that they almost had to throw up during some gore scenes. So, <laughs> yeah. Even during the premiere, um, because I actually interviewed the director, Adam Marcus, and even during the premiere, people were just throwing up in theaters. Oh. <laughs> Imagine being in the theater when that's happening, and it's like your film, and you want people to clap and like scream, and they're just throwing up. Like imagine the exorcists where they're just like <laughs> running away. You just be like, bye. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be. So, I'd just give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> I like I have their money already, so I don't care if they run. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what the effect you wanted, though. Vomit yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I love I love it for that. and and the, But yeah, Jason Lives is definitely my favorite from the series. What would be yeah, your, that's a good one. Definitely that your good. favorite, too? Yeah, probably that one, or probably I really like part two as well. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I love packing that lodge, like where it's set. I like that lodge. It's cool. Oh, yeah. But they're all good. They're all awesome. They're all interesting. Yeah. <laughs> There's something good in all of them, you know? So Every time I rewatch it, I feel different about it. Like each one I feel different about. So it's oh, like, it's yeah. in my opinion now, but when it's, I watch them again. They're stage. so hard to rank. It's like, yeah. they're all so different, you know? I mean, yeah. I could I could put Jason X on top because it's so entertaining. Oh, so but then... good. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> so great. It's so silly, you know. But then again, it's also like Jason Lives is actually pretty good and not just because it's really silly and over yeah. the top, you know. So like they're all so different in film. their own way. Right? <laughs> yeah. Not not good it's because it's so awful. <laughs> like so bad it's good horror is the best. Yeah. yeah. Like I want it to be really shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be really shit. I want that on my on my tombstone once I die. <laughs> <Yeah>. No dying. <laughs> Bad plan. Are you a fan of creature features? I am. Um, probably the older ones more. Like creature from the Black Lagoon would probably be my favorite. I don't know if that counts. Like he is a creature, yeah. but he's like not like a wolf or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's definitely like my King favorite. Kong that's one of my something. favorite. Yeah, I'm yeah. really not familiar with like the 50s and 60s uh, creature yeah. feature films, to be honest. Because you know, Just I'm like all the about universal monsters and stuff for sure. Oh right, yeah. yeah. But I do like. I need to get more into like vampire and werewolf films and stuff. Vampire, I barely touch, and then werewolf, I've touched a little bit. That's like that's it. Werewolf's good. You know, I like I shark like... movies. Oh, right. Yeah, shark, just like yeah, American like Werewolf. Shark <laughs> Even like, if it's really shit. <laughs> like, give me some examples of films uh, you like. Um, well, I obviously like all the Jaws films. Right. Um, Australia all has really good <laughs> crocodile films. We have Rogue and Blackwater, which are really good. Rogue is really good. The crocodile is like 30 feet. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. And then I like really shit ones like um like Shark Week and Meg. I actually liked Meg. Oh yeah. That one was great. <laughs> I know everyone hated it. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it too. Yeah. If I I'm mean, watching a shark, I don't care what it's doing. I'll <laughs> I'll pay money and just watch a shark swim for like three hours. I'm like, all right. <laughs> even fine. even if it goes through glass that you can't see like very slowly in Jaws Jaws 3D <laughs> Jaws 3 is the best one <laughs> I haven't seen it yet it's been it so long so since I've even seen the film Jaws 3 is incredible I will rave about that movie until I die <laughs> it's so good Okay, give me three points why I should watch Jaws 3 pretty soon. Dennis Quaid was so high on cocaine, he doesn't remember any of the movie. 
<laughs> like he filmed the whole movie. He's a main character, and he has no idea what's going on in any of the shots. <laughs> Like you said, that scene with the shark is like a paper mache shark moving. It's so good. <laughs> and three would be underwater theme park is such a vibe. Oh yeah. Like we don't have those in Australia. I don't. I don't know if you do in America, but like the whole thought of like walking through a tunnel under great white sharks and stuff. That's so good to me. I don't. Is well, that a thing? Like America, overseas, but, in, but like in... is that a thing in Europe? No, not that yeah. I know of. I mean, if I knew about it, I would go there right now. <laughs> yeah, if I could pay to see a shark and just, like, look at it, I would. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. You have to watch it. Yeah, Even I'll... for just the, the comedy value. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'll have to rewatch the first one and the second one because it's been, like, three years since I've seen those, so... Uh, the second one, actually, I'll... I reckon is the best one. Like, I'm probably, second... you know, a minority in that. But I reckon the second one's the best one. Yeah, I remember enjoying that one, like, a lot as well, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I, don't, I don't think I thought it was better than the first one, but... I just like I can definitely understand why yeah. you think so. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was... Just, like, because it's, yeah. It's also a bigger threat, you know, because mm. they have, like, a boat made out of wood which is stronger than a raft made out of plastic yeah Yeah. some of them are just like a little bit of like tarp right (laughs) no thank you (laughs) i don't even go in the ocean because of jaws though so i'm fine oh really no i get like up to my knees and i'll run out screaming (laughs) wow i'm terrified you live in australia and i watch it i just can't i can't i can't even go in a pool on my own <laughs> i'm terrified how will a shark get into a pool <laughs> i don't know i just feel like i'm gonna like close my eyes and then open them and be in the ocean i don't know why <laughs> i'm terrified i'm so when did you, so rascal. when did you first watch uh, like the jaws movies or other shark movies i would have been I didn't get into horror first. I got into exploitation, but I would have been like eight when I first watched Jaws. That's so, pretty young. So. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty young. I watched Cannibal Holocaust when I was like seven. So, <laughs> wow. but with like the, that with is the like the my favorite of, film. With ever, the animal so. abuse. Yeah. Well, I'm. Wow. Yeah, I'm vegan now, so I feel like I can watch it and like a can desensitize myself to it a little, but I get why people don't watch it, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, I watched it, and I I, I was like, I'm never going to watch this again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. I watch a lot of Italian horror, so, like, I'm kind of used to animal death, oh, I guess. That sounds right. really horrible. But <laughs> the Grand Buffet and shit like that. Yeah, they just, they just didn't have the money. Like, none of... None of, like, the 70s exploitation films had the money, so they just kind of had to, like, do what they could, I guess. Right. But it's still shit. But they don't do that now, so. You see, the thing is, uh-huh. though, I, like, there's also rape scenes and, you know, mm. the people, like, through going through pillars, you know? And that stuff I don't it's mind. very horrific. I know it's fiction, so yeah. that I don't mind. I don't enjoy it, you know, to watch it. I'm not like, oh, look at that. That's so cool, you know? Yeah. I, I'd much yeah. rather watch The Blob, to be honest, you know, uh, or shit yeah, like that. Because, <laughs> but, you know, the act- when it's actually real, I don't yeah. like it, you know? That's uh, fair. No, that's good. I think, like, it's it's really hard to just, like, distance yourself from horror when it is, like, either a true story or something that is so, like, realistic. Like, even Salo and other, like, exploitation films, if it's happening now... Or it, you know it did happen. Like, it's a bit hard to kind of enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's suffering. It's like faces of death. Like, it's not, you're not meant to enjoy it. No. No. <laughs> I just like Cannibal Holocaust because of what it did, like, for the horror genre. And then, like, how it marketed itself. But I know that it's, like, a hard movie. You don't, like, sit down with friends and have popcorn and watch Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, you, <laughs> you watch Return of the Living Dead or shit like that when you're with yeah. friends. Yeah, or chopping mall, for or example. Or yeah. <laughs> chopping mall. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, when did you get into horror? You mentioned like you first yeah. um, 
run seven yeah, or eight. Young. Yeah, yeah. More exploitation first. Um, because I didn't really know much about horror. Like I kind of looked into Cannibal Holocaust and Salo and Serbian film and stuff, and then I looked into like like Suicide Club, which is like a Japanese um, I guess exploitation oh, yeah. film, Faces of Death, stuff like that. And then I was like, maybe I just want to enjoy myself. <laughs> so I ended up just, like, Googling horror movies when I was, like, I think I started horror when I must have been about 10, like, actually being, like, a good fan. Like, I watched Jaws and stuff like that. But And then when I really joined the community a few years ago, that's when I, like, discovered the world of horror, I guess. Right. Like, you don't really realise until you're kind of – looking at it every day just how many movies are out there there's so many movies there's we'll so never watch much. <laughs> no matter how much we try we'll never see every horror movie ever made oh that's such a depressing thought <laughs> I, know. I know there are some that i will never even hear of and that breaks my heart right <laughs> i watch like five a day <laughs> right exactly so you there wasn't like a family member or someone like that that um really like got you into it. Nah, I don't think anyone got me into horror, which is kind of sad. I remember watching a lot of horror and then my family just being like, "Why are you watching this shit?" And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> sorry." <laughs> I think it was just like one of those things that a few friends and I were really into, and then I didn't really have anyone in my world that got horror the way that I did. So it just kind of became like a, a me thing. It was like my downtime. And then when I started my Instagram, I was like, shit, there's actually people out there that like, like horror. I was like, this oh, is so yeah, weird. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then I realized that like, I knew nothing about horror years ago when I thought I did. And I'm still <laughs> learning every day. And I think that's why I love Instagram so much. It's like, oh, yes, yeah. you'll never know. Yeah. And when did you start your Instagram? I think 2017 um, was the, or 2018 was the year I started. I took a year off in the middle there just to, like, focus on life stuff. Um, but I'm back now, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been, like, on and off for a few years. But it makes oh, me yeah. happy, so <laughs> what can I you do? do? The same thing, too. Like, I'll just post, like, a, three videos a week, and then I'm like, jeez, yeah. I'm – I really can do another video yeah. now. And then, like, months later, I'm like, I haven't uploaded in a while. And I, I really want to make a video now, you know? So yeah. I get where you're coming from, you know? Sometimes you but just... But I feel like videos are even harder. Like, making an Instagram post is so effortless compared to YouTube and stuff like that. <laughs> like, the editing process is draining. Like, uh, I made one YouTube sucks. video, like, three years ago. And I was like, I, I can't do this. I don't have the patience. <laughs> to listen to myself over and over oh, and edit. Oh, yeah. Like, I hated myself by the end of the video. I was like, I don't want to hear my own voice ever again. <laughs> Is that video still up? No. I should have kept it up, but I was like, oh, I'll never do YouTube again. And then now that I'm back, I'm like, maybe I should do YouTube. But, but I also don't know I have if I have the patience. Right. It's so yeah, much you know. Oh, for sure it is. <laughs> but you can do, like, easier videos and, and harder videos because the interviews, I don't edit anything at all. I just put an intro in front of it and outro and then, you know, throw it on no, YouTube. It, it'll get views, you know, but then you'll do rankings and you want, yeah. you know, the movie poster or the album cover or whatever. You want all of that yeah, stuff that's in it. Yeah, too hard for me. Even <laughs> Skype today, I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if I can master YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if if you read into it and um and uh you try it, I'm sure you'll uh, you could become a successful uh, YouTuber. So there's now, so really... many these days, isn't there? Though there's so many YouTubers. Oh yeah, but like the horror community is kind of small though in terms of YouTube. Mm. Yeah, That's... true. I think the horror community is is way more alive in, on uh, Instagram. There are like so many Instagram yeah. horror accounts. I know. But, but there are like five horror YouTubers I know of, you know. So yeah. Well, five I that are like, actually like, good. Yeah, like it's too much effort. I feel like it's so easy to make an Instagram that horror yeah. is like the people that have horror YouTubes are like the kind of people that like really can dedicate that much time and that love it enough that they're never gonna get tired of it, kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
there, <laughs> as far as I know, there are like five, six accounts uh, on YouTube that are like actually putting out great content. Then there are yeah. a few that have like 100 subscribers and just, you know, to be completely honest with you, uh, really shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is bad. I'm so, I'm so sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that you love horror, but your content is really shit. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, I'm not like a... Like, it's very ironic for someone who talks about her opinion on movies all day. But I don't want to sit and listen to people's opinions. Like, I'd, like, I'd rather just be doing, like, watching interviews and stuff, like you said. Like, right. Something that I can't... Like, I there's, there's stuff that I can do in my own brain, but I can't do an interview on my own. So to watch that is, like, so original and oh, rare. Right. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. It's good that you're doing interviews. <laughs> and yeah. That you've done interviews. <laughs> you know, I try to do like obscure actors. You know. Um, yeah. I interviewed the guy from Your Next. I interviewed the director from Jason Lives. You know, the type of people that you wouldn't see on the Jimmy Kimmel yeah. live show, but you would love to yeah. hear their story you know, as horror fans. They're big horror fans anyway. They're the ones who really like hold it dear to their heart. Yeah. 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 They're so they, appreci- they know how much we love it. <laughs> they totally understand our passion. Yeah. <laughs> You'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I don't really like to record, um, you know, movie reviews. I do them every once in a while. It's Every re- movie has been reviewed already. So it's yeah. kind of like, why would anyone want to hear my opinion, you know? I agree. But somehow, That's everyone- what I feel like. Yeah. I, I kind of yeah. stopped doing that show for three weeks, and then I went live a few days ago, and everyone was like, when are you going to turn out a new movie review? And I'm like, who the fuck wants to hear my opinion on certain movies? <laughs> well, YouTube's actually good, though. When you messaged me, I was like, I'll have a stalk, like, I'll have a watch, and then I just watched all of them, and I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> awesome. Appreciate and I love your it. intro. <laughs> I laughed for like 10 oh. minutes at that intro video. <laughs> The one with what the creeper, you... I was like, this is sick. The crypt keeper, it was oh, so good. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> You're watching <laughs> my good vein. <laughs> I've, I've heard that so like many times minutes, now. I was like, this is great, yeah. <laughs> it's like every time I edit, I hear that. Every time I go to my own channel, I hear it in the channel trailer. I've heard that so many times now. But it never gets old. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Exactly. <laughs> it's Still good. <laughs> yeah, never. Just a timeless classic. <laughs> yeah. You know, Slash but that was, that's why I love Stand your um. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love your um, Instagram TV videos because Instagram TV videos are a completely different format from YouTube, mm. and people don't expect great editing from those type of videos. <laughs> they just My expect God. a video, so. <laughs> That's why that works so well, especially for, for people like you that just don't want to sit down and edit a video, you know? <laughs> Although trying to, I ramble a lot and trying to compact everything into 15 minutes for Instagram TV. I was like, this is really difficult. <laughs> and I speak so fast, I can't like put an edit in my sentence because I just don't oh, shut up. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I get that too. You know, <laughs> sometimes when you watch my videos, you'll notice that there's like one word just cut out because it's, yeah. You know, I, I stutter like, or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll leave it in there just for like a joke. For example, I was reviewing yeah. The Blob and I, I always read like the synopsis from IMDb. And um, so I read that and, and geez, that was a tongue twister. So I, I stuttered like three times with the same word. So, I, you know, then I'll keep it in there, you know. Why not? Just stop stop the music when when i stutter it's that thanks for some fun moments right exactly panic ensues as shadow governments as shadow govern as shadow government scientists try to contain the horrific creature shit editing should be a joke and then people like me can get away with shit editing because it's just funny (laughs) yeah actually i was just too lazy to cut out the stutter part but (laughs) um (laughs) No, yeah, that's just, that's just my, funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's my aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> that's my... Yeah. <laughs> so I know that you also like um, heavy metal music. What would be your favorite bands? Um, probably Slipknot would be my favorite of all time. 
I know that's so cliche. <laughs> oh yeah, I I just listen to them in the gym, you know. They they work really oh, yeah. well during those sort of things. <laughs> yeah, they do. They make you angry, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to a lot of Australian music. Um to be honest, I try to listen to anything that's a little bit more local, so sometimes uh, it's good, sometimes it's shit, but it's <laughs> slim pickings out there. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Would you say um like horror movies also got you into heavy metal music? Probably the other way around. I listened oh, to metal really? a lot more before I got into horror. My brother grew up with heavy music, so he got me onto heavy music, which is probably what got me onto, you know, those like emo things of horror movies and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> edgy, edgy teenager yeah. Allison. <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's, it's the other way around, you know, I I saw Jason Lives, and you got the Alice Cooper soundtrack, and I love that. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, Freddy vs. Jason, you got the Spine Shank um, songs. Mm. Bride of Chucky has Motorhead songs, you know, Hellraiser 2. So, you know, that that really got me into, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely the song, And too. then they've got that, that small niche of, like, horror and heavy metal in the plot. Like, you've got, like, Trick or Treat and Deathgasm and stuff where it's, like, metalheads right. fighting demons, <laughs> and that's such a good niche. <laughs> I know. That's great. I love that sort there of shit. There needs to be more of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, it was just really progressive, you know. First, it was, like, Alice Cooper, which is hard rock, yeah. really. You know, then a little heavier with Motorhead, and then eventually it's just screaming with Slipknot and... and you know, shit like that, so... <laughs> There's no better yeah, I than love Slipknot, it. though. When you hit Slipknot, you're good. You're good for life. <laughs> well, you know, you got a few heavier bands, but then again, yeah. you know, I, I can stand Slipknot on the stage Slipknot is probably ten... the lightest band I listen to, but I'll always go back to them, because they're just so much fun. Yeah. But, you know, you can you can stand on stage with ten chainsaws going off and say, yeah, I'm the heaviest, you know? <laughs> but then again, it's not very to good. That. <laughs> You would. I would genuinely <laughs> listen to that. I would love to see that live. <laughs> yeah, that's. It would make for a cool show. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd pay to see ten chainsaws being wielded on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole crowd is. The whole crowd just has leather face masks on. Literally, a leather face themed band or something. I'd. I'll take it. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Or just the big, the big four, you know. You got Jason, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, you know, we do have an crazy. Australian band um, that dresses up all in the the big slasher icons every time they play on stage. It's quite weird, but they're a shit band, so. <laughs> <laughs> really? So it's quite what kind of music? <laughs> they're heavy music, but they're just not great. I shouldn't say that, but it's the truth. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's true, you know. Speak your mind. <laughs> You had it from me, so it's probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I should taste. <laughs> yeah, but then again, I I don't know, you know, because Slipknot is really just, especially the first three albums, is just, like, screaming. Um, mm. But you also have, like, um, you know, bands like Slaughter to Prevail or Die Art is Murder, which is, like, uh, Deathcore, which is, like, yeah. really loud grunting. So... Yeah. Would that be heavier? Because my parents hate Slipknot more because it's just like downright screaming. Um, <laughs> because they'd rather listen to like Death or because it's more grunting. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know. Metal is definitely not my specialty, but I listen to more like hardcore, which is just like literal yelling. It's not even screaming. It's just <laughs> yelling. Like for no reason. <laughs> There's no sound there. It's just a grown man yelling. But I like it, so it works. Sometimes if I spend too much time going to concerts and then I spend too much time on Instagram and I'm in the middle of the horror and the hardcore community, my brain just kind of like implodes from how much drama there is. I just can't comprehend it. I don't know if there's like <laughs> drama in the YouTube community, but for me, it's not just like, really. you know, like drama. I don't think so. I hope not. I'm not involved in it for the better. Unless I, unless I now would name the YouTubers that I just, we're talk was talking about that as shit videos. Then, then we, we can get it started. That. But I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to start that. <laughs> Please don't get cancelled. 
you know, if, if anyone calls me out, I'll just say piss off and go yeah. on my own, just, you know, making my own YouTube videos, you know, I don't care. But that's what you have to do. I've mm -hmm. got so much hate through the Instagram community and sometimes I'm just like, you know what, get stuck. Right. <laughs> you know, people enjoy your content and that's what it's about, right? Well, hopefully they do. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, if you get over a thousand likes on your posts, that must mean something, right? Yeah, but they don't have a thumbs down feature on Instagram. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be screwed. <laughs> okay. You know, it would be really bad if someone would comment, use this comment as a dislike button. <laughs> and that would have 10,000 likes. I should just comment that on all my posts <laughs> just to test the waters and <laughs> see what everyone says. You know, I would just urge to just like that for no reason. Even though I like the post, it's so funny that you yourself <laughs> comment that. Just I'll do that on my own next post, no matter what it is, and you can try it out. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> it's so ironic. That, that's the... use that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think all of your best friends would just push that because it's like, yeah. oh, that's so ironic because it's like, <laughs> You post that on your own <laughs> post. You've got to allow it, though. People need a thumbs down if they really need, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess, <laughs> you know. They got a vent. They got to let off the steam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just put on heavy metal music if I got a vent, you know. So <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, you I'm just go to the gym use... and listen to oh, Slipknot. Yeah, <laughs> that works too. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't need to react it off to other people and ruin their days as well. You know. <laughs> I can handle it. <laughs> Sorry. I said I can handle the hate. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, I'll, often I get like, um, I get like stupid shit as well, but I just ignore yeah. that. You know. Yeah, people do really comment stupid shit on YouTube. Yeah, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's not even hate comments. It's just downright stupid because. Yeah. This one time, I gotta, I gotta look this, this comment up because it was so, it was so bad. But it was on my um, unpopular horror opinion video. So you oh. know, that's, that's already a controversial video. Yeah, very risky. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna name the YouTuber. Um, the, he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know it's not you. <laughs> I know, I know for certain. It, the, the person said. Exorcist is great and never gets old, but Jason X has always sucked and always will, but it does have some fun kill scenes. LOL, never would have thought I'd be talking about a classic and a turd in the same sentence. I'm gonna like, in caption, this video just because of how absurd it is. LOL. I'm like, uh, what? So, <laughs> what? Do you agree or do you not agree? <laughs> right. Well, he obviously doesn't agree, but it's like... So if this video wasn't absurd, you would have disliked it just because of my opinion. How? He likes how it because you're saying something bold, even if it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so weird, you know. It's like, uh, man, he, he's talking about the Exorcist and Jason X. Like he's talking about it, about the qualities in those films, as if it's a fact, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, but I think Jason, people are very like that in this community. They're like, this is fact, even if it's oh, opinion. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I saw this other post recently that cracked me up. It was it, just, it was like this animated uh, cartoon sort of meme. And um, on top you had, I will only watch movies if they have the finest actors and the best screenwriting and, um, you know, something like that. And then underneath it you had, like, Kurt Russell with, like, a cigar and it said, fuck it, let's watch Sleepaway Camp 3. <laughs> Jesus, what a movie. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm definitely more like Kurt Ru Russell with a cigar, you know? <laughs> I do love Kurt Russell, though. I'd probably oh, watch yeah. anything he was in. Yeah? What do Almost you think of, um, what do you think of uh, Escape from L.A.? From New York? No, L.A., the sequel. I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? No. Did you even not know it existed? No, I thought there was Escape from New York, and then um, what's the other one that's like I always get confused. Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always get those confused. I because it's why. like two locations: New York, yeah. China. You know. <laughs> too many words for my brain. 
<laughs> Too long. <laughs> I haven't seen well, LA though. Is it good or is it shit? Oh, it's I love it, but a lot of people hate it. It's it's just so basically I'll probably love it. <laughs> it's it's like a copy of Escape from New York, but in LA. There are like right. scenes that are that are like literally just in New York, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but then then they just copy it for this. But it is kind of modernized, so often you get like hologram the holo- president in hologram, you know. No, I, don't know. I forgot his name, but the the dude that played Uncle Ben in the first Spider-Man film is the president of America. <laughs> so that's that kind of cracked me up. That sounds perfect. I know. <laughs> I'm going to go watch this like right now. <laughs> I'll yeah, find out where to watch it. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it, but in the end they are surfing. So you can perfect. see Kurt Russell surfing in... Yeah. Late 90s, early 2000s, shitty CGI. So who doesn't love that? That sounds perfect. I it mean... Is. It is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scream Factory released that one just a couple of, uh, what, months ago, weeks ago? So oh, yeah. um, that release... I have a copy. Yeah, I don't have a region free player, so <laughs> I can't even yeah. watch them. You know, I don't have someone... to in Australia because, like, nothing is from here. <laughs> <laughs> right, everything's either from Europe or, or America. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I got sent a Day of the Dead Scream Factory release, but I can't watch it. <laughs> it's worth it if you buy a player, surely. Yeah, I should, but it's I, I definitely should actually because Scream Factory does have some great releases. Yeah. And they're pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I remember when I when I first saw the Silent Night Deadly Night poster from the first yeah. one. I just wanted to watch the movie because of that poster, you know. Yeah, they put a lot of love into it. That's for sure. For sure, for sure. So, uh, is there anything you would like to add to the video? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> this has yeah, been you're great. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for letting me do this for the first time. This is so exciting. (laughs) You got to do a video without the shitty editing. Yeah, I know. Someone else gets to do the editing. (laughs) You have to listen to my laugh like a hundred times when you're editing, and that's going to hurt. I mean, listening to my own laugh will hurt more, trust me. (laughs) You're going to go insane and just hear, like, echoes of my Australian voice. (laughs) I'm "Ah!" just doing the editing and and just laughs from all sides the whole time you just hear it in your sleep you're just like <laughs> you're still where is she <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry in advance I guess <laughs> no worries <laughs> if you want to pay an editor I don't blame you just for this video <laughs> well I don't make enough money with uh, YouTube for that just yet so <laughs> well I'll link your um, I'll <laughs> your, your no worries link your instagram i'll link your instagram account in the description so everyone can check you out and uh yeah thank you so much for your time yeah no worries um let me know when you post it so i can share it around as well awesome (laughs) i'll send you the link thank you for having me (laughs) you're welcome have a good one see you guys bye doll (laughs) you're pissing me off roger it's gonna be wild tonight